Welcome to I Lecture Online. In our next example of the catenary problem, we're given the following. We're given the span, and so by knowing the span, we will also know x sub b, which is half the span, and we're also given the equation describing the actual function, the actual shape of the cable. And the equation as a function of x is equal to 200 times a hyperbolic cosine of x over 200. Now, in essence, what they've given us, they've given us the value for c, because when you look at the, the equation here, f of x, of course, is equal to y, and we have y is equal to c times the hyperbolic cosine of x over c, so in essence, they've also given us c indirectly. And once they give you c, when you have a hyperbolic function like this for a catenary, the problem is not so, not so difficult. So what we're trying to do here is we're asked to find the length of the cable and we realize that the length is equal to twice s at b, of course the full length of the cable from the bottom of the cable to the support which is s of b, twice that gives us the full length of the cable, which means we're trying to find s and s is defined by this function right here. So we can say that s sub b is equal to c times a hyperbolic sine of x at b divided by c. And so this becomes equal to 200 times the hyperbolic sine of x sub b. Now x sub b, well, let's see here. We're given that, that's equal to 50, since they gave us the span, so it would be 50 divided by 200, and that should give us s sub b. Let's find out. So we have uh, 1 quarter, 0.25, take the uh, hyperbolic sine of that, and multiply that times 200, and we get 50.52, 50.52, and that would be in feet, that is S sub b, and the length then is twice S sub b, which is two times 50.52 feet, so when you double that, you get approximately 101 feet. So that means here that the length of the cable is just one foot more than the span, which would imply we don't have much of a sag. Now, could we find the sag? Well, to do that, we need to find y, and so we'd have to solve for y here. And so we have y is equal to 200 times the hyperbolic cosine of x would be 50 over 200. So that will give us a total value for y. So that would be 0.25, take the hyperbolic cosine, times 200, that gives us 206.3, so y equals 206.3, and now we can say that the sag is y minus c, so the sag, let's see, oh, there's c right here, so we have the sag is equal to y sub b, which of course this is y sub b, because we picked x sub b, so y sub b minus c, that would be 206.3 feet, minus 200 feet, because we, that's, we knew that c is equal to that. So we have a sag of 6.3 feet for a span of 100 feet. Again, that's not much of a sag, which means that the length of the cable is just slightly greater, one foot greater than the actual span between two supports. So that's how we we're able to find everything we need to know about the cable, about the catenary. Not so difficult once they give us the actual equation that describes the shape of that catenary, and that's how it's done.